Okay, it looks like it's time for another unboxing. It looks like I've been doing a million of these all month long, but whatever. So here we go. Okay, now that it's open. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. So there's the uh, box there. Um, so we have the uh, deluxe edition of Demon Hunters um, War and Peace. And it looks like, okay, so basically by this we have 10 records. Um, they're saying War is 9 and Peace is 10. Okay. So how is this put in here? Okay, it looks like this little rinky-dink sticker. Before I uh, actually open up, we're gonna crack open a cold one. So we have um, Anthem Euroboro Stout. A, um, it's a local um, brewery from Oklahoma City. It's a, a pretty uh, pretty stout stout. And you can definitely taste notes of coffee and chocolate on that. But at any rate, so we'll go ahead and get this uh, cracked open. <clears throat> wow. Look at that. So there's, uh, I guess, the front. And there's, I guess, the back. Wow. Looks like either way you look at it, it's it's the the right way up. Okay. Oh, so here is I guess uh, just a nice um, twelve by twelve poster like thing. Set that there. Okay, so we have war. I like um, getting collector editions of Demon Hunter because you always get these nice notes um, about things. So that's kind of cool. There we go. Okay, now we have it in the frame. This is proving to be a rather ridiculous unboxing. So uh, like most Demon Hunter albums, the deluxe edition, we had the lyrics. And a description of the uh, the song. I need to uh, switch to doing these bigger unboxings in the kitchen. Like uh, my Fallout 76, I did that one in the kitchen. That was a pr pretty ridiculous unboxing too. Um, that's kind of interesting. Yeah, they said it was 80 page book and uh yeah it's it's an it's that gum an 80 page book wow. honestly can't wait to actually dive into this i haven't heard a single thing from this album i avoided the singles i avoided the videos i avoided all that stuff so i'm completely blind entirely on this record <clears throat> I 
Mm. Produced and engineered by Jeremiah Scott. That's interesting. I remember um, the first, like, what, six, seven, maybe six Demon Hunter albums were all uh, produced by Aaron Sprinkle. And so I thought it was kind of interesting how he was almost like the um, the Max Martin of Demon Hunter, like the, the Behind the Shadows six member. Okay, so I guess we flip it upside down to get the other side. Okay, there we go. And so this is peace. So there you go, both of them side by side, war and peace. Watch me spill the beer on the book. <laughs> That's interesting. I will take a moment and uh, state that pretty much what I've always wanted from Demon Hunter was to uh, have like a 90 minute in the studio DVD diary. Just set a camera in a corner and just capture everything. The um, bouncing of ideas, the banter, the arguing or what have you and um, edit it down to 90 minutes and put it on DVD. And I can be mistaken, but I don't think they've ever done that. Um, they kind of came close with um, the one that came out in uh, 2011. I can't remember. Was that True Defiance? They kind of came close to True Defiance. Um, but I wanted more. And thus far, they've still never done that. And I've just always wanted to kind of get a, a peek behind... The curtain, so to speak, with how they went about, you know, writing songs and that kind of thing. But unfortunately, it's just never happened. I thought it was pretty excellent that uh, both of these records debuted back to back on the billboard. So pretty much it goes to show that everybody who bought one bought them both um, instead of just buying one or the other. So I thought that was pretty incredible. Is that done? Good grief, his beard and hair and everything has gotten long. <laughs> I kind of want to know how the recording process was for this. Did they uh, record one album and then the other? Or did they kind of um, do it in random? Uh, a couple heavy songs, a couple soft songs, a couple heavy songs, so on and so forth. Or did they go like, all right, we're going to do all the heavy songs and we're going to do all the soft songs? Um, that would be kind of interesting to know. But I guess, I guess that's everything. So there's the uh, book... The CDs, got a couple of uh, posters, and uh, all came in a pleather case. <laughs> and I got my stout. This is actually a 8.5%. Uh, um, so, yeah, it's pretty decent. But uh, 
Yeah, there's a can for those of you. Um, go out and look and see. They, they might have it at, the, at your store. I don't know. It's uh, by Anthem Brewing out of Oklahoma City. Uh, it's a pretty good, it's very nutty. It's a pretty nutty stout. But uh, I guess that's all there is to that. Um, I just wanted to do a quick unboxing, open up, talk a little bit about the band. I've been following the band since um, February of 2002 when uh, Through the Black demo was released on This Is Solid State Volume 3. And I've been a fan ever since. <clears throat> uh, they put out some absolutely fantastic records. They put out some decent records. Um, fantastic records would be The Triptych would be True Defiance, would be um, the last one. What was the last one? Was it, was it an extremist? It was one after extremist. I can't remember what it was called. Um, those three records were just absolutely phenomenal, just a league of their own. Um, so I'm really anxious to dive in here and uh, see if uh, these two records can live up to the hype of either one of those because those three records are just absolutely flawless. So uh, I guess uh, thanks for watching and peace out.